Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's my second winter update for 2025-26. It's been one month since my last one. If you are hoping to see lots of information about lots of snow and hardest winter in 40 years, you may want to not watch this video and stop and click and watch something else. But if you want to know what I believe and what I know at the moment, you may find this interesting. Anyway, let's dive in and see what I believe at the moment. Starting off with the sea ice and snow cover, looking down above the pole. This image was from the 29th of September, so it was the, the image I used on the first winter update. So let's have a look how are things progress from then. You can see an awful lot of snow has been added to uh, Siberia and over North America and sea ice has grown as well. And Iceland is fully covered with snow. They had an awful lot of snow uh, earlier this week. So let's compare it with uh, this time last year. I think we had more snow this time last year on the 31st of October. Let's go one more. Let's go to 2023. You can see again an awful lot more snow, especially over North America and the snows over Scandinavia. And we're more or less on the borders of Europe on the west side of Russia. This image was um, a snowy winter for us, 2019. You can see uh, still more snow in North America. And the final one we'll look at is 2013, when we had a lot of snow from a sudden stratospheric warming. So a bit disappointed there that we haven't got the snow cover compared with previous years. Looking across on uh, Europe and Asia, you can see where the sea ice is in yellow and, and the snow cover there in Russia. Turn our attention to the pressure models from four different models. The first one, we'll look at the ECMWF for December. You can see they've got high pressure in the Atlantic, slack air pressure over a lot of Europe and the UK. UK Met Office, a little bit of eye pressure north of Scotland, uh, some eye pressure around in Europe. DWD, low pressure over Europe and the UK with eye pressure over Greenland. The final one, the BOM with Australia's Met Office, slack air pressure over Europe and the UK with low pressure this time over Greenland. January. ECMWF, we've got high pressure over the UK and parts of Scandinavia and Northern Europe, and some in the Atlantic. Met Office, again, sitting on the fence, we've got slack air pressure over Greenland, the UK and Europe. DWD, high pressure over Greenland, Northern Atlantic, slack air pressure really over most of the UK, a little bit of high pressure over Scotland. BOM model, low pressure over the UK and Scandinavia with slack air pressure over Greenland. February, ECMWF, we have low pressure over northern areas. Met Office, low pressure over the poles. DWD, slack air pressure over the poles. And the BOM, some low pressure over poles. With those models all over the place and no reasonable comparisons, I have nothing there to add to the winter forecast. And so I certainly have no confidence in what those models have just told me. I wouldn't waste my time, the temperatures and rainfall, for those models because... I have no faith in them whatsoever at that range. Turn me interest now to the polar vortex. The polar vortex is an area above the pole, about 35 kilometres. So, of course, it will be very cold, somewhere around minus 70 to minus 90 sort of figures it can get. 
So we're starting off now, and you can see it's quite tight and uh, it's fairly well formed. So, uh, but that's what you'd expect for this time of year. Let's run the model. Time and date on the top right hand side. Starting to see a shift in the shape of the polar vortex. We've got some warming taking place over Siberia. In fact, we've got a lot of warming taking place over Siberia and the polar vortex is being pulled out of shape. Where do I think that warming is coming from? Possibility some reflection from the snow fields over Siberia. But now looking at the polar vortex temperatures for the average for the last 30 years, you can see that the cold area there and a bit of a warm area there. So let's run this, how it runs. You see it's nice and cold as you would normally expect. Now we're starting to see some warming coming in. It's getting very warm just in that area. It's certainly not a SSW, sudden stratospheric warming but there is something to start in there. It may give some indication that the polar vortex is quite weak for this time of year. So we'll have a look at that a bit later on, but it's far too early to take a lot of notice of the polar vortex at the moment. Give it another month at least. Well, thanks for watching. It may not be what you wanted to see with a winter forecast, but to be honest, that's what I know at the moment, and I'd rather tell you what I know, not what you would like to know on the winter forecast. I don't go in for the CFS model, which goes and shows you deep snowy winters and the beasts from the east. When we get there, it's very mild and sunny. I only go in for what I know to be fact at this time. If you enjoyed it, do give me a thumbs up. Love to hear from you, so leave a comment below. And I would appreciate it if you enjoy this content that you subscribe to my channel. Till we meet again, look after yourselves and those you love. Be a fan. Bye for now.